What is going on guys? Jedi from the block here. Today I'm going to be bringing you guys a smite build video on Euler. Look, here's the deal. I had to check him out. Uh, I had to check him out before I made this video. Uh, there was a couple patches that I have not seen or, or I should not say I haven't seen. I have not checked out with him that have come out in the past. I didn't play Euler a lot until maybe a couple days ago when I found out he was probably the godliest god of them all. He's very powerful. Very OP, and I do like his items. I do like his builds. I I like his I like his passives. Uh, they're they're fairly useful if you you look at them. It's pretty cool. Um, but they're very good to have with this setup because a lot of the stuff he has builds it around like his ultimate. Technically, is an ultimate gives you speed increase and physical power, which is very good. So we're gonna go ahead and get this started, guys. Um, with items, if you're playing conquest, get bladed arrow, then go ahead and get exposed weakness, and then get hell of arrows, and then just put your alt in there whenever, and just do one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and just stick with that, guys. And then uh, we're gonna make our way down here. We're gonna get our relics. We got sanctuary and curse. These are the items I would suggest using. Um, the reason why this build is so good is because he already has 25% physical life, or 25%, la, 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 25 physical life steal, 25 attack speed increase. With that, then he has physical power increase by 50 and movement speed by 40%. And that's really useful in game, especially when you're playing when you don't really want to build too much speed. But if you want speed, you can have speed. So we're going to get this started. We're going to use Ninja Tabby because we want the speed. After Ninja Tabby, guys, we're going to work our way down here. We're going to go grab ourselves. Shh, no, not sure, bro. Um, Akavil, or whatever it's called. Sorry, guys. I'm very illiterate today. Um, every successful basic attack increases your physical power by 10 and reduces your target's physical power um, by 10 for 3 seconds, and it stacks 3, which is good. And I like that. Even though this one gives you 40 attack speed, and every basic attack triggers a chain of lightning damage to target up to 4 nearby enemies and damages 50 plus of your total basic attack power. It is good, but we're looking for that physical penetration early on. And that's what gives us, you know, the idea that we're going to be putting out a little bit more damage than normal. Now we're going to go make our way up here, guys. Now this is where things get interesting because if you like building on top of damage and you like building on top of speed, these are types of abilities and abilities that you're going to like. Like this one right here is, you know, if you're having the com if you're comfortable with the speed you have later on in game, you could get this one. Now this gives you life steal, attack speed, and physical penetration. And when you drop below 35% health, you gain an additional 25 physical life still for 50 seconds and occur every 15 seconds, which is very nice. It's very nice to have that type of type of like you know safe haven. You know, like it's good. But we're gonna go ahead and get ourselves executioner because it gives you 30 attack power, 25 attack speed, and basic attacks reduce your target's physical protection by 12 seconds for three seconds, or 12% for three seconds, and it stacks by three, and it gives you a little bit more speed. We are pumping out a lot of speed right now. We don't really need to worry about too much more speed because if you look at our screen right now, we are pumping out tons of tons of speed. So we're gonna make our way over here. We're gonna grab ourselves Deathbringer, build upon Dark Mal or Malice. The reason why I like Malice and Dark, uh, Darkbringer and Deathbringer in the same category is, you know, you don't have to put this in the same order I did. This is just the way I build it. This is the way I feel comfortable because when I have enough speed, I'm able to kill a lot more minions and just keep putting out the damage to the minions. I can do damage to the opponents as well. Um, early on, you're not really worrying about getting, you shouldn't be worrying about getting too many kills on enemy players unless you can see the opportunity at hand because early on, you're going to go out there and you're going to try to fight. Guarantee your team leaves you stranded in the middle by yourself. You get killed, and then you mistake yourself. You're like, why did I do that? Why the hell did I do that? That happens to me. I know you're probably like, well, you probably suck. Well, no, I don't suck. I just play aggressive, and I've learned my lesson with certain people when I play randoms. But um, now that we got all of our items, this is our base structure. Now we're doing a considerable amount of damage. We're, we're doing quite a bit. So we're going to move our way over here. So with the next item, you can either go a little more speed, which I don't suggest doing because... One, you already have a lot of attack power, or a lot of attack speed, you have a lot of power, but what we're going to do is we're going to go over here and get Wind Demon. Now, the reason for Wind Demon, guys, is it gives you 40 physical power, 20% critical strike and ch uh, chance, and your critical hits, when you get one, it increases your speed and movement speed by 20% for 5 seconds, guys. That is fantastic. With this build, um, I can't stress it enough, it's going to give you quite a bit of power. Like, we're just going to be hitting, like, that doesn't seem like a lot, but... We haven't even activated this. Look at that. 836 a hit. That's for five seconds, guys. That's really, really good. And look how fast we're shooting. Now we're back down to 600, 700. It's just, you got to think that ability. You gotta, if you're, you're not going to get 
you're going to be in the mix of you're going to be fighting. Oh, no, there's three there's three enemies. No, that's not going to happen unless you're being gangbanged by all three of them. That's the only way. And that's the way if your team's hiding away in a corner somewhere. You're not going to that's not going to happen. So, if you're fighting one god, you're only going to need to activate one of these abilities, and that's this one right there. Maybe line it up, get yourself that, and you kill him. He's dead. There's no problem. And if he comes down to you, strike him with that. 429. Switch it up. Your abilities already changed. Come in. Get that shit going. Knock him out of the box, Luke. Knock him out. Look at that. We would have no problem killing anything. You're probably like, oh, these are minions. They're not moving, huh? Well, I'm telling you straight now. Like, listen, this build is 100% guaranteed useful. I like this build. I'm not being cocky. I'm just saying this guy is pretty OP, and a lot of people sleep on him. And I've had a lot of people critique my videos, and I do appreciate you watching them. But I'm telling you, the builds I use are the builds that are useful to me. They work for me. They've done work for me. I have videos to prove that. Um... I played with a few people that, you know, requested they want to play with me. To sh you know, I show them that I could do that. I played well with my builds. I like my characters. I'll play anybody, you know. Like, I'll play with any character, you know. It, it is, you know. I like playing this game. I like putting these videos out for you guys. You guys are my... F you guys, like, help me so much by showing me the support you have. The, the builds, you know, you guys check them out. You know, I can't stress it enough. You guys work so hard to, like give me the, the time of the day you know like it doesn't seem like it's it doesn't seem like a lot of work on my side it is somewhat you know difficult to keep doing this because I you know but the support you guys give me that's that's where it comes in hand you guys show me the, the love for these videos and I'm just like oh man I'm gonna make more of these videos for these guys and the comments you guys give man let me tell you guys couldn't be here without you guys I couldn't do as much as I do without you guys appreciate everything so much thank you so let's go ahead and show you guys this build on raw he is a dummy raw he is not got any items to keep him safe but who gives a crap? We're here to show you the power. Activate. All right. So we're gonna use our our a distance ability. Hit him. Damn. Ain't shit to it. This build is very useful to me. I like this build. This I will put a video out with this build showing you guys 100% that this works. Then we're gonna come in, jump. And that's. You're going to use that if you're coming in on someone who's shooting you with arrows, obviously, like a Neath or something like that. Definitely use that jump in on them. And their shit. Like, all your abilities have the best, like, combinations to them. They're fantastic, you guys. I, I can't stress this video out enough. I can't stress this build out enough. This has got to be, probably got to be one of the top smite builds for him. I, I like it. There's probably someone out there who's got, like... Oh, uh, physical protection this, physical protection that, a little bit of this, a little bit. Nah, we're playing straight damage, bruh. We're going in for the kill. We ain't playing no more. We getting it. And we're going to come in. I'm just going to show you guys this again. So, hit it, hit it, hit it. Bam. That's the combo right there. 3, 2, 1, baby. 3, 2, 1 with that combo. Switch it up. We're going to do 2, 1, 3. On, or, well, I guess we could do 2, 3, 1. So. Ooh, missed it. Ha! Man, come in. We're just laying down to work. Switch it up. Ah. Woo! So, you guys, thank you so much for watching my video. Can't stress it enough to how much you guys have helped me. Thank you so much for checking out my videos. Please hit that subscribe button one time for me. Leave a like, comment. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys have any other build videos you would like to see, let me know. I'll be sure to make those videos. If you ever want to play, hit me up. I have no problem playing. I have no problem, you know, just playing with some of you guys and checking out, you know, letting you guys see that I actually know what I'm doing. Can't stress it enough. I will show you guys I know what I'm doing. So be sure to hit me up. Leave a comment. Leave a like. Hit that subscribe button. Thanks.